You are right to be worried about the broken communications array, Rodent. A potential client might contact- Make it fast, Quill. I still got that array to repair. Can we talk for a second? Are we okay? Oh, tip top, Captain. So that's a no. Why do you care? I'm just here to fix things, right? Who cares what I think? Rocket, please. Just because I don't always take your advice doesn't mean I don't listen to you. We're a team. Everybody's got an opinion. So you'd rather listen to Gamora? Gamora? Gamora knows her stuff, man. She's the navigator. She navigates the stars and, and planets and, uh, uh, comets. She navigates comets. Sometimes. And Groot is our, uh, special vegetation specialist. His opinion's valid, too. And Drax? What makes him so great? He's, uh, uh, tactical. Tactics. The man is such a tactician. And then there's me. The guy who gets mad and starts shooting up the place instead of following the plan. Come on. You're a valued member of this team. We started this together. Now we need to make something profitable of it. Something lasting. We could go to nowhere like you suggested. But if we don't pay that fine, Nova Corps will come for us. How do we make money then? Maybe paying our fine makes some sense. Exactly. So let's just get it over with and move on. Right? We'll see. There. Happy now? We done? Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. So, about my raise. Rocket, any chance you can check out the fridge while you're at it? I, I ain't got time to refill it. I got other priorities right now. Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of really scary looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think, I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Time's ticking away, Peter. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Corel is probably monitoring this ship, waiting to see if we make the right choice. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope.
my ship. Relax. Standard Nova Corps procedure. My ship's fine. Which part? Ask Quill. He's the one who keeps crashing it. All right. Let's pay that fine. Part of me hopes they'll at least try to arrest us once we pay that fine. Why? Never escaped from a station before. I thought Peter's deal covered our warrants. Or at least I hope it does. Yeah, you got a file too, Green Gal. Assassination isn't a legal line of business, last I checked. <laughs> of course. They'd have to prove I did it. Are those Shatari handcuffs? What? Oh, uh... Yeah. Strange thing to collect. I mean, I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's... It's not like that. I found them in the quarantine zone and I just... kept them. Why? <sighs> I don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... It's stupid. Not... necessarily. You want to talk about it? Ever been to Shatari Prime? More times than I care to admit. Then you know what it's like. How they're like. The scritching, scratching, hissing... reptilian stuff of nightmares. Oh yeah. Hard to forget. I've seen some pretty messed up movies, but nothing came close to what it was like living on Shatari Prime. I was just a kid. I didn't even know aliens were real until they showed up in my backyard. <laughs> and now? And now you're surrounded by aliens. There aren't a lot of humans out here. Sure, there's a few of us kicking around. Richard Ryder. Right. That guy. Might as well be an alien. Point is, I'm pretty much alone. All because the Shatari saw me as a valuable asset. Not just the Shatari. Thanos. Of course, your dad was pulling the strings. I think I'd almost rather Thanos over those lizards. I can promise you that Thanos would not have been the better option. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, do you know what the Shatari do to their prisoners? The unvaluable ones? They throw them into an arena and make them fight monsters. They take bets, sabotage favored prisoners by breaking a leg or an arm, all for their messed up insect entertainment. You survived, Peter. Men stronger than Drax have been slaughtered in those arenas. You lived. Yeah, I survived all right. As a bargaining chip. Would you have preferred death? I don't know. Back then, maybe. Now, not so much. Then be glad you made it out at all. <laughs> Helen knows I'm glad you did. I don't know if you know this, but my dad is kind of the king of Spartax. I know. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. You're you. Yeah. And it's not exactly a secret. It's what I would have done, kidnap the progeny of a powerful leader to control them. I mean, Hala knows how long they kept you. Except that it was for the express purpose of keeping the Spartoi Empire from joining the Resistance. Four years. What? Four years. That's how long they had me. Four Earth years. And a few days. I'm sorry. Don't be. For a long time, I thought my dad would come get me. Raise an army, send in spies to break me out, something. But he didn't. Guess it wasn't politically advantageous. Fathers suck sometimes. Trust me. At least your dad wanted you. Even after the war, my wouldn't see me. One, want is a nice way of saying kidnapped. Make no mistake, Peter. You're not the only one who was stolen from their home. And two, you went to Spartax? Even had a speech worked out and everything. Hey, Dad, it's me. Your son you left to rot in a Shatari prison? It was that or punch him. I was undecided. Still am. 
Getting into the White House would have been easier. White House? Basically, my dad loves bureaucratic bullcrap. I thought being his only son would be enough to get me an audience. Turns out I needed an appointment. The Spartoi Empire was in political shambles after the Galactic War. He was too busy to see his kid? Yeah, I got the message loud and clear. I lost everything I ever loved because of him, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. I'm so sorry, Peter. Don't be, I just... <clears throat> really want to punch him. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. I guess. So, what should we do with the leftover money after we pay off the cops? I say we get a landing at this program. There won't be much left. <laughs> hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got from my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How'd you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay... The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then, Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And, for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... Found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home. And I found him talking to an empty room. To someone called... Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us. In his own twisted way. But... 
Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. Rocket'll come around, just try not to eat anything else, okay? Ready to pay our fine? I am Groot. Even Groot can see you're here for some blueberry pie. I am Groot. Hmm, good question. Hey, Gamora, you've been in a Novacore station. They got public restrooms. We have a toilet right here, Groot. Our bathroom is quite cramped for a being of his stature. He can bend. I know there's some reason we're doing this, but I still want to go on record that I don't want to be here, and that being here is a mistake. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. It's not like they had much choice after the war. Too many seats? M ship. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R734. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Novacore find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Flarkin knew I should have stayed on board. Rocket? Yeah, yeah. You know, it does seem kind of extra empty around here. Good. The fewer cops we gotta talk to, the better. Your suspicion of law enforcement is itself suspicious. Forgive me if I don't like taking orders from a giant space computer. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? I'm We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look. The door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what? Now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can. Cheap shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. Yeah, Nova's tech ain't that fancy. Don't expect me to hijack the world mind or anything. Perhaps we simply need to wait our turn. Highly doubt it. We are meant to be clearing our fine, not adding to it. We're not breaking in, breaking in. We're concerned citizens. All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. There. 
All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay hey, everything plan. But I gotta say, messing with some Nova Core tech ain't a bad consolation prize. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm sinking the schematic to your visor. Oh. You could do this the whole time? Follow the circuit and let me know which junction to switch. We'll have to pick and choose where we reroute power. Fucking right I can. Oh ho ho, clever. That's a door. The wrong door. Still. Hey, it's a bathroom. Anybody got to go? The only place I want to go is out of here. sprinklers from this thing. Does that help? Only if you want to get wet. Yeah, good point. We'll find out. Uh, oops. Anyone want a soda? <laughs> nah, check for you. No faulty in spring water. Wash and learn. Hey, that... Sort of worked. The blast door is gonna need some extra juice. There's another power company. What the fuck, Peter? Sorry, sorry. I'm not much of an electrician. You said it. Presto! What else? You know, ta da! That is no more clear. It is conspicuously silent. Good point. Hey! <laughs> Two can play that game. Or, or three. There's something bothering me. What are they doing? They're scanning each other. Fucked if I know why, though. They're acting bonkers. It ain't spooky. That big haunted house on Dervani was spooky. One has nothing to do with the other. Looks like everything was normal when Hallow's Hope showed up. Maybe that's where they are. Yeah, collectively kissing your ex's butt. I would form an extremely long queue. a deadly assassin infiltrated the facility. Don't look at me. There it is again. Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Hey, I'm half thing, remember? I did not. Hey, here! There is indeed someone else here. Uh, hey there. <laughs> what gave it away? Perhaps the sentient space computer summoned all Novacore back to Zendar. Come on, we got this car! Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in the cage. Novacore begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Novacore prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. You all seem real high and mighty for a bunch of folk in a restricted area. What do you know about whatever's going on here? Not much. There was a commotion. People were talking about some mother, and then they just left. Corel? Did you see a Centurion or a little Cree girl? That's all I know. Come on, I helped you. Time to help me. Look for a door release or something.
Maybe the station got hit? I hear there's still Shatari remnants who like to attack under protected Nova spots. Whoa, hey! What did you do? Uh... Hey, where am I going? What's happening? Wonder where it took him. Furnace. Congrats, Quill. You just executed your first prisoner. That seems improbable. You really didn't think that place on Dervani was spooky? No. Not even a little bit? I have given my answer. It had me going. Until we found that surveillance room. Maybe we just sent him back to his cell. Like, that was the visitor's area. In my experience, Nova Corps do not permit visitations. You were in the kiln. Of course you weren't allowed visitors. This isn't a supermax. This door's locked. You hey, buddy. Ah! Uh, oh, hey, oh, what now? I got rights. Now this place brings back memories. Did you once serve with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill? What? No. But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, 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 one? Nope. What are you doing? I figured as long as we're here, I may as well try and dig up some juicy Nova secrets. Maybe they even got a bead on Gamora's bluer hat. Not likely. What's that? Nothing. want to pay this fine and go back to being broke? Whoa, that guy was serious business. Well, now he's seriously someone else's business. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Hey, do you guys hear that? What? It's the... Death rattle of all the things we could be spending those units on. Please don't fall, please don't fall. That's what this place is missing. A room full of monitors like that haunted house. It was not haunted. Whatever. I'm saying we need a way of checking the whole station at once. Can't believe that whole thing was just a big scam. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you guardians and your trees. Yeah, screw that guy. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, piece of cake. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Hello. Try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. You wouldn't fit in one anyway. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the Bucks tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't have. Believe me, I tried. What do you think one of these suits would go for on the black market? This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for getting chopped in two just so you could make your, your girlfriend proud. That is- Ah! No wonder the door's all torqued out. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. 
Subcutaneous emitter is busted. Hmm. Whatever that is. That means something to you? Maybe. Means you can't report back to the world mine. That checks out with what I saw in the lobby. We can make with the parts you've got. in my back because of that. More nothing. There's got to be an explanation. You heard that guy. They just left. And so should we. He also said something about Corel. He said mother. Everyone's got a mother, Quill. You do not. Point is, mother could be anyone. Except you. Uh, uh, uh. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Quill. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. Shifts. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Sector 3, check in. Sweep of Sector 3 in progress. There has been some, uh, resistance to the promise. Permission to initiate cleansing procedure. Cleansing procedure authorized. Faith be with you. Uh, hey there. Is this thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corel. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corel to pay a fine. Hello, Guardian. Of the galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh, we're in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Huh. It's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am 
Come. All will be made clear. Once you experience the promise. Her divine promise. Promise this! So expect more of them purple freaks. Yeah, what was with that weird glow they had? Sorcery. Virus? Well, we better hope it ain't contagious. One more room, he said. Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if she don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Was a standoff. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? Yeah. There's your answer. Oh, man, this is bad. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of <laughs> choice. Clark and Meathead, nice knowing you. Here has everyone gone nuts. Bend your knees when you land. Can we handle that many? Not much we can do about it now. <laughs> Let's go! 
I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corell's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! I am Groot! Come on. Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. So try. Secure the station. All must accept or be purged. It is Nova Corps' duty to protect life, not to destroy it. Tell that to the corpses in the repair bay. Rocket, come on. You come on. I told you we should have left. And we are. I'm on board. Let's find the Milano the and... Intruders reported in the repair bay. And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said all cycle. Is there any way for us to track where the Hope went? Why the Scud would we want to do that? There could be survivors aboard. Or more of those... Whatever their deal is. I plan on putting as much distance as possible between us, this place, and that Flarkin ship. 